Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to my replay. Welcome to the replay and welcome to my live. I'm looking so that I can see my comments on my TV. Perfect. So I have a fun, so today we're gonna do a, a, a lesson um, with a technique. It's, it's gonna be cute. So let me get all of the things done that I need to get done. And that will be awesome. So we are gonna share those. Hip hip hooray. It just will take me a second to get all the things done. Okay. Hello, hello. I'm super sorry that I am late. I actually, um, was at my last ever HOA board meeting. I am finally not on the board anymore. I gave up my position. It's been a wonderful three years and I'm done. Done. Oh, what is happening? Okay, so that's good. I got like three more buttons to click, guys. Oh, it takes forever. It doesn't take that long. It just feels like it takes forever. Okay, now, one last thing. Okay, so hopefully you guys saw the really super cute um, summer vibe um, project that I did yesterday. It's so adorable. It's over on my table. I should have brought it. I'll go grab it. But um, it's super cute. And I made a bundle box and I still have about a handful left. I'll go grab it so you can see it if you didn't get to see it yesterday. Um, if you want to check it out, you can type box in the comments so that you can check it out. We did the really awesome box frame. It's double-sided, so you can totally put something on the back. We added a little embellishment. We have our tag plus some beaded dangles and some ribbons here. And the most adorable color combination in the whole world. Couture teal, ras raspberry sorbet, and bumblebee. So <clears throat> super cute. That is our bundle box. Comes with everything you need to make it. Today, well, hello everybody. Hi, Anne-Marie. Hi, Barbie. How's it going? Happy Tuesday. Hello, Margaret and Pamela and Christine. Howdy, howdy. Um, I pinned this. Why is that there? I'm just curious. Oh, it's there now. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Hi, Shorty. Hello, Jill. Hi, Deborah and Carrie and Carol and Julie. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Heidi and Lisa over on YouTube. Hello, Amy Grossman. So today we're going to do, I have two different transfers we're going to use, but the main transfer that I'm going to demonstrate with is called Buds and Blossom. Oh, Bud and Blossom. I said Buds and Blossoms. Same thing. Same thing except multiple. And the reason why we're going to use this transfer is because you may look at this and not even know in like how you would use it on a project. And so I'm going to show you. These are some floral pieces. So there's definitely like this outline flower. There are some leaves. There's like this big splotch. You can use it in a lot of ways, but I'm going to show you what it's actually meant for. And we're going to do a fun ombre layering technique so um <clears throat> super cute first i'm gonna grab i just have this little small transfer called look for miracles 
and um, <clears throat> it's just super easy to use on my board and base that I've decided to use. And it has, and it leaves room so that I can do some like embellishing with the other transfer. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. I am gonna peel the transfer off of the backer. I'm gonna fuzz it a little. Again, sorry I'm late. Good evening, Anita. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Vanessa. Hello, hello. Hi, Debbie Nunez. And Riley, hello. So, looking for miracles. I'm gonna kinda pop this on here. And I just want the words to be, so these are the colors I'm using, you guys. It's gonna be so pretty. It's gonna look like a sunset on a flower. Um, we're gonna use Golden Hour, which is a very, very yellow. You can kind of see, oh, do not forget YouTube. Okay, so like a buttery yellow color. I, I actually love it. And I'm just gonna pick up some of the chalk paste and I'm just gonna squeegee it through this transfer, all of the silk screened areas on the transfer. Pretty quick and easy if you ask me. If you're new, it's definitely a slower process. But when you have done this pretty much every day of your life for almost four years, it's a quick process. You get really good at this. I'm just gonna peel and reveal. Okay, so we've got our look for miracles. I'll show you what it looks like after I wash this. I <clears throat> gotta put it in my water to get the chalk paste and the fuzz off the transfer. It's actually a pretty easy process. You can rub the transfer between your fingers and then use our, um, use our board eraser to kind of wash the front part of the transfer to get that chalk paste off. Hi, Sherry Harris. Hello, hello, hello. Glad you could make it. Okay, so let's dry this so then we can move on to the technique part that I'm super excited to share with you. Um, also, I have to tell you, I went back to acrylics. So I kept my own nails and we just did acrylic over my nails. They're gonna last so much longer and like be so much nicer all the time. I'm really hard on my nails, especially with the water and stuff. I'm never good at wearing gloves. Okay, so, so like simple and easy, look for miracles. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we are gonna open up, I've got our guava chalk paste. Ugh. We have our guava chalk paste, and it looks like it needs a little stirring. Okay. Then we have our peachy keen. Peachy Keen, beautiful, love it. Okay, <clears throat> so I am going to take our biggest transfer, the biggest um, flower, and we're gonna put it up here in the corner. We're gonna do a fun thing. So we definitely need to get our transfer trimmers out because this transfer has 10 pieces. You can use them all, or you can use one. It doesn't even matter. But I am gonna use, so they're labeled A1 
and A2. What that means is A1 is the shape that you're going to chalk first. A2 matches perfectly over A1, so it's a layer, okay? Okay, and I'm going to label the back. So since this is A1, I'm just gonna go ahead and write A1, and since this one's A2, I'll label it on the back. Easy peasy. When you have 10 different transfer pieces, they're at kind of similar sizes, it can get confusing which backer goes to which one. And they could be real close in size. So I am gonna fuzz this. Three times. And I'm going to kind of do this in upper, up here a little bit. And what I wanna show you is that there are these little registration marks, okay? Those registration marks are actually important. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do those with chalk because it's gonna help me line up my next transfer, okay? Now I'm gonna do an ombre um, with my guava. We're gonna put guava at the top. Oh, I should, well, I can use this. Then we're gonna put some golden hour in this, the, the middle. And we're gonna do peachy keen at the bottom, okay? So this is going to be <clears throat> kind of a we're gonna do like an ombre we're gonna kind of move the, the two outer edges close to the other one and then it's not close enough I need a little bit more of the yellow I'm gonna take my finger that I just got a little bit wet and we are going to mix those colors. I'm actually going all the way up to the end there. So I'm gonna take another finger and mix the bottom two colors. So we've got this ombre going on. And now I'm gonna clean my, peel my transfer, clean it and clean my fingers. It is so pretty. It really does look like kind of a sunset or a sunrise. Sunrise, sunset. Yeah, totally that song popped into my head. Okay, I'm washing this transfer. Should just take another second. And then we'll come over there and dry that completely because um, All right, so I'm gonna show you, it's so pretty, but we need to dry it because we cannot risk messing it up. You guys are so quiet tonight. Nobody's doing anything fun. I've got my fingerprint right in the middle of this. My son had his first ever choir concert um, for middle school tonight, and I had to miss it. And he didn't tell me he had a solo. Like, whose kid are you that you don't tell your parents you have a solo? I would have done everything in my power to be there. Oh, I'm so disappointed. It does look like cotton candy. Taco Tuesday, yum! We have leftovers, which is never really yum. Angie, hi! The grad party was awesome. Everything, it was just, everything went smoothly. There were no issues, like everything was great. 
All right, so I have this dry and you can see the registration marks. You see those? That's where I'm going to line up the registration marks from this one. And I need to fuzz this one really well because Well, just because it's going over top of that. Okay, I fuzzed it really well. I'm gonna line up the registration marks all of the little squares. Oh, I'm not fond. I don't know that that all right, so our little green leaves are gonna go off the edge. And I think we'll pick, I kinda of wanted a darker green. So let's try, that is meadow. I was looking for pesto. meadow and then I'm gonna do um, black velvet for the outline it should be like pretty chic looking actually oh So we got some green leaves over here. That are going off the edge. And we're going to do a little black outlining. So as I grab okay. It's going to be cool. All right, so see what I've done? Now, there is a chance that this is gonna peel up and pull some of my original chalk paste, but I'm gonna go real slow. Okay, not bad, and it looks a little bit distressed, so I'll show it to you, and then I'll teach you what to do to not make that happen, okay? Because I know that you're not gonna want that to happen to you. And I didn't do this because I wasn't, I didn't really think I needed to, but I got proved wrong. So here we go, I'm gonna tell you. First, I'll show you. I'll dry this and then I'll show you. And I will also um, show you ways that you could fix something when you do this mistake. So basically, um, also, I am also going to um, clean off my registration marks with a Q-tip and some water. I'm just going to dip my Q-tip in water and rub it across the registration marks to get that off. Okay, so now that's clean. If you are new, just checking me out for the first time, I would love it if you would join my free crafting group. You can type 
add me in the comments and I will send you a link where you can request to join. You're going to get more ideas, inspiration, and insider information. That's add me, A-D-D-M-E, <clears throat> two words. Okay, so here is our little, our little um, pretty flower. And the black <clears throat> are the lines and then the green, obviously. And you see like the, um, the ombre. Well, <clears throat> it's all crackly because my perfectly good chalk that I had laid down with the original screen um, pulled up from my other transfer. So one thing to do to um, not get that is when you have, when you just do your um, piece right here, dry it completely and put a very light coating of wax, okay? So you're just gonna lightly wax over that. Just over this, don't try not to get onto the black surface, just, just this part. Then when you lay that other transfer on it, it will line up and it won't stick. It will have like that, um, thank you, Valerie. Thank you, thank you. And checking me, I know I keep saying that. I know it sounds funny, but I don't know what else to say. If you're watching for the first time, which is a totally normal thing to say, Inky fingers, that's the best, Heidi. <laughs> Not really. I know, I really would have been there at the concert, but anyway. Okay, so, so what you can do to fix this is you can do a couple things. You can look in here and say, oh, you know what? I can add another leaf that is going to be coming out of the flower or you can add another flower over top that's smaller and then another little leaf so <clears throat> we can do a couple different things but again i'm going to wax this before i try to fix it because it will help We're just going to, and I know that part of this is already, like, it's already lifted. So I put a little wax on there. And let's, let's do some of these like little roses or tulips or whatever. Those are roses already down there. Tulips, I think they're tulips. Okay. So I'm gonna put one here. And I'm gonna do it in guava because it will show up because it's such a, a dark color compared to the others. But then as I lift, I'm gonna be careful and then I'll put some, maybe I'll do two of these. Dry this. So these are ways that you can fix, or because it's chalk and it's a boutique surface, you can wash it off and start over. This week on Friday, I'm gonna be doing our club couture transfer. If you haven't checked it out, um, you can type club in the comments. If you are not a member, you can learn all about what our chalk club is. If you are a member, you can click on it and check out what our um, our club transfer is going to be this week. All right, so now I'm going to do kind of another one. I think I'll do it in a different color. Or maybe I'll do it in a mixture of colors. Just kind of like a variegated color, mixture of the two. Okay, perfect. So now I'm gonna clean this transfer real quick and then we'll do some leaves down there. And we've pretty much fixed our little boo-boo. <clears throat> After 
after we dry it. Man, you learned three techniques now. Fixing boo-boos, using um, wax between layers, and making layers. All right, so we're going to do, I'm wondering if maybe I should do this leaf over here. Oh, look at this. We actually, there's actually an inner piece that I could do on both of those and make that black, which would mean I would want to wax it. lightly and we will we're gonna mark the back of this number three I forgot to mark that one it's the bare one <laughs> Valerie too funny too funny all right so fuzz 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 This is going to be black, I'm just very lightly going over it, and then we'll do this one. Okay, so now I gotta clean this one. So each little each little transfer needs to get cleaned. If you have a bunch of little ones, you can kind of save it till the end, but I'm just doing it all at once. I have black chalk paste everywhere on my skin. All right, so now we'll dry this and we'll add our little. We'll add our little green leaves. And I was thinking I was going to do this one. Because they are different leaves than the other flower which I don't know if it's a rose or a carnation or what in the world it is probably a rose I try Shelly I try to teach I was like well the thing is is um I never know like all of our um transfers that have like these little floral pieces and different things uh it's hard because you really have to kind of plan out when you want to use them. I don't want to go over, oh, they're a little bit long for my words. Well, maybe I'll just really do a, because I kind of wanted it to go in between. All right, so we'll do it like that. We'll take our green. And I'm trying to avoid the word and let that show through. Oh, there we go. So that's what I, okay. So here we have the two with the little green. You guys seeing that? Okay, let me clean this up. 
So we have lots of layers now on this piece. And one of the cool things that you can do with these transfers, you can make your own background with the florals if you want. You can do, there's honestly so many things that you can do. I'm just gonna get my tools out of the chalk paste so I can clean it up. and get them put away. This particular, um, whoa. This particular piece right here needs to be dried and then I'll show you, it goes into the base. love love to like embellish oh I put it down too low um and don't ask me what I'm doing this is just for show that won't work okay well here it is in the border base. I put the word miracle down too low. So this is a whole trial um, for you guys just to demonstrate the um, the flowers up here. You, you should probably want to see that too if you're on YouTube. <laughs> so funny. Um, so I always like to decorate this, um, but this is not like a finished piece for me. I would... Um, Definitely, I would have definitely redone this if I weren't teaching you how to get out of a mistake. I would have redone the whole thing and made it, fixed this, moved it up, done all those things and decorated this. Um, but sometimes I'm just going to teach you and that's the way it's going to be. And it isn't about the finished product. It's about what can you do with these things. So um, it kind of looks like this is one transfer, but it's two. Had I made that a different color, you would definitely have noticed that it wasn't, but it kind of looks like it's the black background, but it's not. And then we just added those little uh, extra flowers on top of our little mistake that pulled apart. Um, but if you use the wax, it really does work just like these. These worked really well layering when I used the wax. So you guys got to see that. You are so welcome. It will. It'll go really well with a lot of A size. There's also a smaller flower that you can do. I use the big one and all sorts of green leafy things. So you can do all sorts of things with this. Um, but that's it. Today, um, that's my live. Hope you, hopefully you learned something or maybe you were reminded of something. Again, if you didn't get this week's bundle box and you haven't checked it out yet, type box in the comments right now. You can see it. Um, and I still have four of them about, I said about a handful, like four of them left. So you can check that out. Um, and tomorrow I'll be live at 2 p.m. Eastern time. I'm sure nothing will get in my way. I won't be late. All of, the, all of the things. It's kind of crazy around here. Um, and, and that's all. If you've ever thought about becoming a designer and were curious about like all the ins and outs, uh, maybe you're thinking of being a hobbyist or a creator or even a business builder, I can help you with that. All you have to do is type team in the comments, T-E-A-M, and I will send you a quick message with a link to watch an opportunity video. Opportunity video. Yay, Pamela. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, you guys, have a great night and I will see you tomorrow during